Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. You know, between 19, you know, between 1988 and 1991, arguably the two biggest stars in sports globally was Mike Tyson and Michael Jordan. Now, we all know what happened with Mike Tyson. He didn't reach the heights that Michael Jordan reached where you know, Michael Jordan went on to become an owner of a sports franchise, and now Michael Jordan is worth an estimated $2 billion, you know. And that's unfortunate for Mike Tyson, but Mike Tyson just had the wrong people around him, where Mike Tyson had the right people around him. Well, one of the things that bothered me about Michael Jordan which I I don't think that way now. I'm one of them dudes, if they say something about it, cool. If they don't, they don't. But I was one of them dudes that just had it, you know, implanted in his head that, and particularly with black athletes, I feel to a certain degree, they had a a obligation to sometimes speak on certain situations concerning the black community. Like everybody mostly agrees when it came to Michael Jordan, we all said we never asked Michael Jordan to turn into Malcolm X, but we just asked the man to acknowledge certain situations that would go on. And we felt like he could use his voice because he was a global icon to bring awareness to certain situations. You know, and then when you look at how LeBron speaks out on certain situations, it makes Michael Jordan look even worse now. You know, to me, as, as much as I liked Michael Jordan as a basketball player and I liked his gear and all that kind of stuff, and yes, I still supported Michael Jordan, I did to a certain degree think Michael Jordan was a coward. I, I, I did. He was a badass on the basketball court, but when it came to certain situations, he was too much of a rock the boat type of dude. And I thought sometimes he could be too much of a kiss ass and too too nonchalant about certain situations. Like he said, well, all he wanted to do is play basketball. But at the end of the day, you liked all the accolades that came with just playing basketball, the notoriety, the attention. Michael Jordan liked that attention. You know. And he need to keep it 100. But one of the situations that's bothered me about Michael Jordan, which he could have addressed, he could have put some closure to it. Yesterday is this whole Craig Hodges thing with Craig Hodges wearing a daishiki to the White House, which many people believe led to him being ostracized out the NBA, and particularly by one David Stern. And I believe David Stern played a key role in Craig Hodges not getting another job. And I know some people say that David Stern loved Michael Jordan. No, he didn't. No, he loved what Michael Jordan brought to the NBA, which is a lot of money and notoriety and attention. Okay, that's what David Stern loved about Michael Jordan. He loved Michael Jordan, the entity. I doubt very seriously if he loved Michael Jordan, the person. Okay, so, you know, I know David Stern is gone But at the end of the day, like I told you, I was not a David Stern fan at all. I thought he came across as a dictator and he had little man complex. And I agree with everything Brian Gumbel said where he came across as some kind of slave master that want to act like he run the plantation. You know, so I'm just keeping it 100. I really felt that Michael Jordan could have said, hey, man. Uh, give Craig Hodges another job. Craig Hodges tried to get another job and he just never was able to get another job. And he had money problems, you know, post NBA career. And then I remember like maybe around, uh, this was a while ago. He had got a job with the Lakers as a shooting coach, if I'm not mistaken. And they tried to interview him about that whole uh, Daishiki thing and basically he said he couldn't comment which means he was probably told not to speak about it and usually when they say they don't have no comment they basically have a gag order or they was warned not to say anything about it okay 
And I feel like Michael Jordan could have put some closure to it. But Michael Jordan has refused to address this situation. So it makes him look even bad. It makes him look even worse as a, it, it, I'm serious. I'm just one of these people that got to say this shit. I'm not worried about you, Jordan apologists, or you, Jordan nut huggers, getting mad. He should have fixed this situation. He should have tried to fix this situation. Michael Jordan was sitting on top of the world. He could do no wrong in people's eyes because everybody was making money off of him. And to be honest with you, for most of his career, people outside of Michael Jordan made money, more money off of him than he did off his name. OK, so I'm just keeping it. I'm just keeping it 100. He need to address this Craig Hodges thing one way or another. And to me, he appears to run from this. They talked about everything else, but they don't want to talk about that. So I think that Michael George said, I'm not talking about this because probably it's no wrong or right answer he could come with to justify him not at least trying to help get this man back in the league and that was messed up what David Stern did to him and I completely blame David Stern for this he ain't no different than Roger Goodell I never liked David Stern never liked that dude man was always up in the camera that man act like people came to see his ass so yeah I have a big problem with Michael Jordan still running from this this topic pretty much 30 years later but nevertheless this is your boy town biz i'm out